On this episode of Test Chamber, we're taking a look at Mark of the Ninja, a new game from Clay Entertainment and published by Microsoft. Came out a few days ago. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. Today, I have Matt Miller playing the game. Hey, how's it going? You did the review for us as well. Oh, I love this game. And it scored very well. It got a 9 out of 10. And then uh, our color commentator today is Dan Reichert. I'm looking forward to playing this game. This looks yeah, good. it sounds amazing. Miller has been raving about it. Why don't we jump in here and take a look at um, one of the opening cinematics to the levels. So every level has a cartoon like this, correct? Yeah, it's really cool. To locate him. Very brief there. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are a little bit longer than that, but... Uh, this is uh, one of the early levels where it's still kind of teaching us some stuff. I've heard some comparisons to even like Arkham City, Arkham Asylum type uh, stealth gameplay. Would you agree with that? Some people were saying that. I don't know. I haven't seen a review yet. I would agree with that to some extent. Uh, I would actually reference an earlier game that people uh, may recall called Tenchu Stealth Assassins. Yeah. Nice uh, night. That's one of the lines from the first Tenchu game. Did you see what I just did to that guy? You killed that guy. You I just down. killed him. Yeah. And now I'm going to throw up here. I'm going to get up top, and then I'm going to just do this to this guy. Cool. Oh! Is this a game that if you suck at stealth, you can get through? Like, I mean, could you just run through and survive? You know, honestly, I would not recommend playing this game if you want to play it all action-y. It does allow for that. You can, like, if... I'll show you here. I can kind of run around and I can like punch and kick and all that stuff. But I almost never did that when I was actually playing the game. Most of the time, if I got seen, I just restart at the checkpoint. Yeah. yeah, these are artifacts you can find around the world. There's lots of fun little secrets in the game. But the the cool thing about the game is you can actually see up in the upper left corner, I've got a score right now. Um, and this is what's encouraging me to play not the way you're describing, Dan. Okay. Um, by playing really well, I can get uh, get more points, and that gives me more options to upgrade after the level is complete. So, so the points are kind of like experience, but not really. You out even in the uh, yeah, they're they're kind of like experience. I think that's a pretty fair comparison, actually. So is this beacon thing like that? What what are we looking at there? Okay, so the the actual kind of circle that you're seeing. Yeah, we're seeing about the dog sure. on you. Well, the the dog is a unique one. That is actually his sense of smell. Okay. Um. And uh, we're gonna leave the dog alone because we don't like hurting dogs. There's nothing oh, to do up, nice up here. You. Yep. You'll kill a human, but not. I a will dog. kill a human, but not that dog right there. Can you kill the dog? You can incapacitate him. Oh. Okay. Uh, you and you see that I just got a plus two hundred undetected. So I am in a location that. Uh, Ah, look out! You see, like he smelled me there, okay. so he he's not totally sure about it. But now he's going to kind of come investigate a little bit. Kind of the whole Metal Gear thing, right? Right. The yellow searching. Right, but most of the time, when you see a little circle come out, when it's a white circle, it is a sound. So here, I'll show you here. If I run here, though, that is the sound my feet are making, and anything within that circle can hear me. Is he wearing tap shoes? What the hell? <laughs> I like the sound, very intense. Yeah, it's definitely a cool little musical soundtrack and actually excellent voice acting in this game as well. So I'm gonna go try to take this guy out with the dog without the dog even knowing that I came. Do you get more points for killing or I mean, could you just pass him by and just totally not even you get, mess with them? Okay, well here's the, 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 probably the coolest thing about the game is that you can, you have this point system and you get a bunch of points if you go through and you just kill everybody and you hide their bodies and you kill them stealthily and they never saw you you coming, but you take take them all out. However, if you get through the whole level and you have not killed anyone, then you also get this huge score bonus. How okay. would you get past that guy? Like that. Ah. Um, and so there's all sorts of ways to create distractions. You have different items down in the bottom left. Like right, I have four noise makers. Ooh. I've got some spike mines I could kill people with. And I also have this cool ability called Farsight. Um, I can hide in places. Right now I'm hiding in this dumpster. Um, and so you're constantly uh, looking for interesting ways to surpass each uh, kind of area. Uh, much like an old school, like classic stealth game like Tenchu Stealth Assassins. Although in this game, I, I think it, things have come a really long way so that you 
Um, I think their their approach to stealth is is better than a lot of those old classic stealth games. So this guy's got a cone of vision, right? Yeah. Not to mention the fact that there's that that spread of light that's coming out from this light here. So I've got a couple there's options. There's also a German Shepherd over there. I know. So what I probably want to do is not make any noise that might wake him up because dogs hear pretty good. And birds. Look. You should throw a firecracker at that dog. Oh, that was too bad for that guy. Can you distract the birds? And then will the dog... Uh, you can... Uh, yeah, the birds will actually make noise and will... Uh, like, they're lifting off. will make a little sound um, bubble. So I'm going to hide this body down there. And we're just going to go down Man, this way. that city is going to start to stink from all the corpses that are <laughs> they in really are. Everywhere. Yeah, so basically, I, I should point out that they're... I, surprisingly, there's a pretty cool little storyline in this game. And this is Clay Entertainment. That name might sound familiar to you. It's K-L-E-I. They also did uh, Shank, Shank 2. They also did N Plus as well, right? Uh, you know, I'm not sure about that. I loved N Plus. N Plus was great, I but... I thought that was a different developer. I'm not sure. Sorry, I don't know the answer to that right now, but they did definitely do Shank. Um, and maybe you're right. Maybe they were involved with N Plus. I think they did, at least on 360. So here's a tricky scenario right here, right? Like, I've got two guys, they're facing each other. If I come in behind the one, the other one might see that he dies. So how am I gonna do this? Throw a firecracker at him. Okay. So how about I throw this noisemaker? You'll notice it shows me the the area that will will hear it. So both of these guys will hear it if I throw it here. Uh, can't you just bang their heads together? Go check hey. target. Ah. Now this is what happens when you get detected. That doesn't you look see, as fun. like I die. I, I I could conceivably kind of run around and punch him and kick him or whatever, but probably at this point you notice I lost 800 points. Knife him in the face. There I would go. probably restart the checkpoint, frankly. You but got him. I didn't there. Um, so we'll see what happens if I just keep going. Peasant's death is a sword to the chest. A peasant's death is is sort of a commentary on how weak that was and that I did it that ah. way. Like, I just gave him a peasant's death. I didn't even, like, give him the honor of, like, oh, okay. killing him in a cool him in way. Back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the stealth Whoa. kills, you actually have a quick little button press prompt you've got to do right. Um, if you don't do it, then, you, then this kill is slightly louder than it would be otherwise. Got this fun little grapple thing that I'm shooting around with. Let's see if we can kill this guy in a really I cool way. I would hire way. that card. He's on the ball. Look at him. He's gonna die. Watch this. Whoa, that's. Oh cool. yeah. Now, okay. So this guy right here, if there was another guard walking around and he came and he saw this guy, he would literally get terrified, and he would start shooting his gun and walking around all scared. And if there was a third guard, he might even shoot the third guard because he's so scared. Oh, that's awesome. So there's a lot of opportunities to kind of like mess with your enemies, which is pretty fun. We're gonna yeah, keep I just going looked it up. Here. These guys did bring N plus to three six. Oh, there you go. Good to know. Okay, so we found another artifact. Gets us some more points. Collectibles. It should be noted, by the way, that at this point in the game, I probably wouldn't have quite as many of these fancy gadgets and health and everything. This is a, a, a version of my character that's already beaten the game, so he's already got lots of stuff. Is there just one playable character? Uh, yes. There's one playable character. He's got lots of different outfits, and the outfits actually support different styles of play. Um, so one might be really good for, like, if you actually did want to try to run through the game and get all action-y and kill stuff, then that would work better. Um, and another one that is... It, there's, a, there's a whole outfit that actually is built around remaining completely silent, but you can't bring a sword with you. Oh, wow. So there's no way to, like, kill something the normal way. Can you melee or just punch him or anything like that? Um, by the way, I'm looking at a map here just so you can kind of see how it's set up. It's kind of fun. You can kind of see all the different routes you might want to hmm. go to. Oh. Anyway, uh, so yeah, there are ways to kill without a sword, but it's much more complicated. Uh, I'll show you one of those when I have a chance up here. So let's see where we want to go. We want to go up to that X mark. How big would you say the game is? Bigger than I thought it was. The game kind of fakes They're you out a little bit. You get partway through the game and you think you're right near the end, and you're not. Uh, I I think playing it the way that I did, where you're really trying to like get really good scores and go back through. What is he doing to that fern? Uh, something bad. You can see he's kind of hiding back here. If oh, okay. a guard was coming by, he would not see me. 
Is that a dog? Like, can that dog see you? No, that's a, just a statue in the background. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is an inter This is a interesting level here right now because the power is fluctuating on this level. Did I hear you know something? what it reminds me of? Hmm. Odd World. Oh yeah, it does yeah. have some of those qualities. I can totally see that. This doesn't have a fart button though. No. Not yet. Odd World had a fart button. I'll pay five bucks for that okay, DLC. Now okay. there's ninja some, farts. There's some something going on over here. We can kind of see through here. There's a detection system in place. Um, but. Is that an item or something in there you need to get? Or why do you need to get in there? Not sure. Looks like a hula hoop he's going to grab or something. Whoa, what is that? Oh, is this your farsight ability? Yes. Why did you grow a tail when you did that? <laughs> oh! You see, it detected me, and now wow. I'm going to get shot at. We'll get out of here. Wow. <laughs> Now, if I was being really careful, then we could do it like this. Wait. Go. Get up there! No! Ah! Oh, that was not me being really careful. <laughs> I think I'm going to be really bad at this game. I love stealth games, but I'm terrible at it. <laughs> I love those odd world games. They're that's, fun. Yeah, that's what this looks like. What is that? This is like a little, level? well, no, this is like a little objective marker kind of thing. Boss. So this is showing us as these guys have access to flares. Flare man. Take him head on. Try to get behind him hmm, or above him. Coming from here. So you can hear, I've got a, a friend along for the ride. This, uh, this female ninja uh, who is, is kind of giving me some advice as I go. Friend She's, or friend? Uh, I'll leave you to figure out some some things about the female ninja as as you play through the game, but she isn't a very important character. I'll put it to you that way. Mm. This thing up here on the top left, it looks like that's some kind of light meter that's showing when you're uh, because I notice it changes when the light goes over you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's showing me whether I'm in shadow or not. Um, and all you need to do to get seen is really like be in the shadows for a very brief time, uh, and then you're in trouble. So let's see what else we could do with this guy. Uh, I could throw a noisemaker down here. Spike mine. But let's try something a little bit more fun. So if you spike mine and then combo a noisemaker? Yep. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm yeah, going to do. That's pretty cool. You're going to get it, dude. Huh? Oh, that's awesome. What's that? I better go check that out. No, you just shot a flare at it. And Everything should be fine. Dead. Oh, oh it's and like he's a bear gone. trap? Yeah, but it's like a big spike that shoots up from underneath. It didn't clamp on his foot? No, it shot spikes all the way up through his body. Oh, that's bad, too. <laughs> it's also bad. You don't bad. want either of those things to happen. So this guy, this guy would be trouble, right? Like, he's facing this way. I don't want to go in that way. So let's try something different here. These cards like their cigarettes. They do. Oh, and here's your answer to your crows. See, they make noise. Oh, so you, I could actually use that conceivably as a distraction. Can you cut their throat? Uh, just leave crow corpses around, or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dogs would go after that, and then put firecrackers in them and throw them, throw them at the guards. See, that was Aww. not you notice know, to see it, an imperfect kill. That was heard by other people, and now they've killed me. Ah, oh, so I got to restart the checkpoint. But the checkpoint system's always pretty uh, generous, actually. It's pretty important with a game like this, I think. Agreed. So we'll um, uh, maybe just to kind of see a different alternative here. We'll uh, do a noisemaker. But you might not have all these things. Uh, you have you have center. different items. Um, I think by this point you have noisemakers. I like how his strategy is to, when he doesn't know what a noise is, shoot a flare at it. Yeah, right. <laughs> so that was one way that I, uh, like a slightly different way that I could approach that. I could also have just like moved past that guy as he investigated the situation. I guess if there's reports of like ninjas being in your town and killing police guards and stuff like that, I think you would uh, shoot everything at everything. So there you go. Like I, all those guards that were back there, I've just moved past them. Oh, I noticed when you're jumping, it's the A, the contact sensitive thing changes to glide. Do you have some? Yeah, glide? that's a special upgrade I've gotten later in the game that lets me basically have parachute wings that let me drop really slowly. But this gives us a good opportunity. A few times during the level, you often have these little flags that pull up the upgrade screen. And when you start out the game, most of these are white and not yellow, meaning that they uh, are n 
have not been purchased. So meaning you've kicked a lot of ass in this game. I have. I've gotten a lot of the upgrades so far. Um, but you can see it like you can get more health. You can uh, some of the cool abilities that we've already been showing off, like the ability to um, to drop down via your grapple and like kill them that way or kill from while you're in hiding. Those are all upgrades that you get. Initially, you don't have all those abilities. Um, what are these little scarabs you've got over there? The scarabs. Yeah, and the drippy spears. These guys. Oh, these guys are awful. These, uh, and by awful, I mean pretty awesome. Oh, this God. is one of the attack items. You drop these ravenous insects, and they literally just eat the your enemy. Why have you not showed us this? I'll show it to you now. Hey, you should do that. Uh, let's see here. It's like in that bad Indiana Jones movie when Bugs ate a guy. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you can see here we've got the different outfits I was talking about, right? It tells you, like this one, I could have two attack items that I could carry. Um, but... I will not have items replenished at checkpoints. But we can try this one just to kind of be fun. And you'll see um, I now ha I don't have any noisemakers or anything, but I have two different options for uh, um, for my attack items. So we'll put okay. on the terror dart and the ravenous insects and see what we can do with that. Is pretty much any wall climbable, or is it a certain material or something? Most walls are climbable. Okay. My buddy up here. Hey, lady. Oh, Look cool. at all the guards patrolling near that tower. I'm going to do some awful things and to see these those people. Antennas on the roof? It must be a communication tower. There could be something inside still their to help find Karja. <laughs> That's right. And there is actually a pickpocket mechanic. Really? There's certain objectives that you can complete when you need, like, a key from a guard. You could go in and murder him, but... You can also go in and just take the key and have never been seen. Oh, cool. And you get lots of points for that instead. So let's let's kind of see what happens if we... Um, so are these guys actually bad, or are they like our security team that we just have patrolling our rooftop upstairs there? Right, that, that security team. Uh, they These guys are some mercenaries, and they have a beef with our ninja clan. In fact, they've come and attacked our ninja clan. And okay, so justified. Revenge. Well, yeah, probably. Probably it's justified. Ooh, you're saying I should follow this story. The story is actually quite cool. I kind of went into it just thinking like, uh, oh, whatever, it's going to be fine. Uh, but yeah, let's check this out. Jeez. <laughs> Brutal, yeah, right? That's rough. Okay, so look at that guy. He's terrified now. I would shoot this guy right here. We need to get the ambulance. He over is there. absolutely terrified. He's shooting at stuff. He's like, "Where? What's what's going on? What's happening?" And I'm gonna show him what's happening in just a second. Oh, we need to take all these guys to the hospital. Or the morgue. It'll be okay. What's B do there? A bee is coming in and out of hiding. Uh, okay. And so I'm going to kind of just stay here for a little bit as this guy comes back this way. That dumpster looks like a ninja. <laughs> just a box. Huh? You'll notice that with the new outfit I've equipped, I don't have to do that special little button prompt stealth kill. One of the advantages of the, the outfit I have on, which is an unlockable. A lot of outfits? Hey! Oh, this is trouble. I don't want to have to deal with that guy with a shield. Let's get out of there, Miller! Oh, geez. Kill him. Nice. Yeah, so they are they automatically succeed. Still... Well, right now they do. Because, because of... of this outfit. Yeah, yeah. So this looks like a pretty bad situation. Go through the top. Let's see what yeah, we can figure out. Raise yeah. Will the insects kill two people at once, or just one? Well, let's see. I don't know if I've ever tried that. Like right in the middle. Although we, we also have the terror dart. Yeah, that sounds good, too. Can we see too. what that sounds yeah. like? What happens? That. that sounds fun. Oh, I'm looking for that. Oh, just like a Insect berserk. the other guy. Oh, God. Okay, so he just they just killed each other. That's cool. Yeah. Target sighted. Ah! That's terrible. Oh, God. See, I wasn't paying enough attention. <laughs> that guy was smarter than the out. average Miller. That's right. Whoa! Oh, something bad's going on up there. But let's set, shut down some of this stuff down here. <laughs> All snake. No. We'll pick it up a bogey on the perimeter. Get the count ready to evacuate just in case. So that guy's still oh, terrified. Oh, yeah. no. Careful. You know, the little gizmo that'll find him in case he gets nabbed. Send a man to get it. That's it. 
If we get our hands on the tracking device, it'll lead us straight to Karajan. Did he fall? I think he fell off. <laughs> I think he was so scared he fell off the off the ledge. Did they kill themselves? Uh, they don't purposefully kill themselves. You can see them that they now want me to go down here. The levels are quite big. Lots of opportunities to explore, take different paths. Every kind of uh, scenario that you run into is basically a new puzzle to solve. So it's really a pretty awesome little game. Miller, give that dog your killer, please. That's awful. I'm not. I can't do that. Can you? <laughs> Let's see if I've got any more. You're a mean. You're a mean person, Reiner. This is, this is under Reiner's orders, by the way. I just want to point that out. <laughs> oh, yeah. you can kill the dog. Oh, look at that. You're a bad man. Oh, I deserve man. to die now. And with that, I think we should... <laughs> he died. <laughs> we should wrap up this episode of Test Chamber. This game looks amazing. It's great it fun. It really does look cool. I wasn't a big fan of Shank, but uh, this looks right up my alley. I'm going to check it out for sure. Thank you, Miller, for giving hey, us look this look, this. and thanks, Dan, for joining us. Yeah. We'll see you on the next episode. No problem.